connected with over 400 other organizations. All of your donations for this one concert, 3,300 pounds and counting, will serve to provide over 100 sessions for their patients in the future. So thank you so, so much for donating. Finally, I would just like to say there is no deadline or limit to how much you can donate or when you can donate. So you can donate some more by scanning the QR code to the GoFundMe on the, the banner there. Um, and I believe there are some posters around the church as well, also with the, also with the link. Um, and also the other thing you can do, as I'm sure you've seen on your way in, um, there is a small donation box for any cash, physical donations you'd like to give. You're very, very welcome to do either. I would like to give some thank yous to people who have helped make this night come true. Thank you, everybody here, for making time on a Tuesday evening to come and share in our music making. Particularly to those of you who've been helping me this entire afternoon, without you I would have been ten times more stressed. Thank you to all of my performers for agreeing to come and play and putting in the practice hours for it too. Thank you to the brilliant accompanists, Mark Kincaid, as well as Olivia Travers and Stephanie Dean John. Finally, thank you to my violin teacher, Ramus, for agreeing to come and play at my concert. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our first performer, Francesca. Thank you so much.
Thank you. 
quite fun. Having a bass, you end up having kind of instrument pets. You have to carry your stool around with you everywhere as well. Every time I get seen in public, it's always, you should have played the piccolo. 
had to walk a few miles to get here. Honestly, I don't think they're wrong sometimes. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the concert. You're free to go now. <laughs>